Neil Armstrong, John Glenn, Alan Shepard, American heroes to be sure. But what of Jerry Cobb, Jane Hart, and the other women who fought from the late 1950s to the early 1960s for a chance to explore space? The almost astronauts of Tanya Lee Stone's investigative work. Through dogged archival research and hard-hitting personal interviews, Stone uncovers deeply buried evidence that points to deliberate and systematic institutional discrimination against women in the space program. Her outrage is palpable and so well supported that readers will be spurred to think more deeply about the construction of history, especially what's omitted or taken for granted. I'm delighted to present a 2009 Boston Globe Horn Book Honor Book Award for Nonfiction to Almost Astronauts, 13 Women Who Dare to Dream, published by Kendallick Press, edited by Mark Aronson and Hilary Van Dusen, written by Tanya Lee Stone. Thank you. One of the benefits to going last is that I've, dis near, near to last, is that I've discovered to my delight that um, I'm not the only person in this room who's obsessed with a project. We all share this collective theme of a project that has just haunted us and we've stuck with it. It's truly an honor to be here tonight amidst such impressive company. I want to thank the Boston Globe Hornbook Awards for making this evening possible and for selecting Almost Astronauts to share in the celebration. I'd also like to thank my editor, Mark Aronson, who was able to see where I was going even in moments where I faltered, and the entire phenomenal group at Candlewick, with special thanks to Hilary Van Dusen and Sherry Fatla. Among other production triumphs, we were able to use most of the more than 100 images I gathered to help tell this story, thanks to a smooth and collaborative team process. I was especially dazzled by the Oz effect Sherry engineered by bursting into full color at a pivotal moment of forward motion in the text. I'd also like to say that I'm thrilled to be here tonight with my husband, Alan, who is a constant source of love and support, and it is so true that we can't do what we do without that support of, as David put it, the home cast. The story of these women who, kept, who were kept from being astronauts way back at the very beginning of the space program haunted me. It eluded me multiple times how to tell it. I couldn't get over that this episode in our American history had occurred, but that so few people knew about it. The more I learned, the more I fell in love with these ladies, all wildly different from one another, but linked by a unique experience. I had to find a way to do justice to their story. Women sometimes dismiss their own impact on the world. Even one of these remarkable women did so. When I met Janora Jessen, I was taken aback by how underwhelmed she seemed by her own story. She even told me that she always felt like a fraud anytime anyone asked her for her autograph. And then something amazing happened. After getting to know her and having her read, all of them actually read the manuscript of the text, they were all sent books. And when Janora read my book, she was finally able to see the context of her own achievement laid out in black and white. She wrote to me, I ordered a copy of the book from Amazon. I couldn't wait for the one you were sending me. <laughs> It's so clear the sequence is correct. You've captured each of the participants. You certainly got the politics. In fact, you really got my dander up. I'm ready to run out right now and join the women's movement. <laughs> or am I a little too late to jump on that bandwagon? Thanks for your passion and your special talent in telling our story. Although Janora lives in Idaho, she happens to be in nearby Wellesley this very minute for a family function, and she sends her thanks as well. If there is one thing I hope readers will remember, it is this, as told to me by one of the other 13 women, Jerry Truehill. Jerry, in her sassy Texan style, called me on the phone after she received the book. And she said, darling, those cards were so stacked against us, and you captured the heart of what happened. It's so important for young people, young girls especially, to know that women were in this from the very beginning. So on behalf of these great women, I thank you. <laughs> 